Hey, hey guys, what's up and welcome back. I'm Mike and this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. Today's video is a comprehensive guide to the TP-Link Omada network, which covers the harbor that you see behind me in the Omada dashboard, where we're gonna make all the custom network configurations like VLANs, ACLs, and much more. This is the second video in our Omada network playlist. So if you haven't seen the first video, make sure to go back and give it a watch. Our first video covers the basics of the entire Omada network. To start off, let's go over the four pieces of hardware in this network setup. We have the OST200 controller, the ER605 VPN router. This is the Jetstream 10 port gigabit switch. And lastly, this is the EAP670 access point. First thing you wanna do is plug everything in, just like you see here. Controller to switch, router to switch, modem to VPN router via the WAM port. And we have the access point to the PoE switch, as well as a PoE camera. And just a heads up, the controller and the access point, as well as the camera, are all powered by PoE Plus, power over ethernet. However, the switch and the router will need power. So the first thing you want to do is download the Amada app for your phone, and then we can start the setup process. So once you open the Amada app, there'll be a plus sign. Tap on the plus sign to add the controller. Simply scan the QR code on the back of that controller, like so. Then next you want to go to the entire setup wizard. You're going to add the region, your admin name and password, your Wi-Fi name and password, and then you're done. Once you get this all set up, you can find the IP address of your controller on your app. You'll simply type that IP address into your browser on your computer to access the dashboard. You can also open up the Omada cloud on your computer, type in your email and password, and access it that way as well. You can also make all your adjustments on your phone app. However, I recommend the dashboard on your computer. It's a bigger screen, and it's much easier to make these configurations. So now let's take a look at the dashboard, and we're going to take a look at a few options on the dashboard. We'll take a look at the main features, then we're going to create some VLANs, and an ACL, access control list. So now let's get it all set up. Oh guys, don't forget, hit subscribe, it's completely free. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the Omada dashboard features. Top left, we have dashboard, statistics, map, devices, clients, insight, and log. And at the bottom left is admin and settings. Let's check out devices. This is where you'll find all your devices in your network. You can see our VPN router, our switch, and our access point. You can see the IP addresses of each device, and looks like we need to update the firmware of both the switch and the router. And from the dashboard, you can also see our devices. So now bottom left is settings, and we have a whole bunch of menus here. But our focus today will be wired networks, wireless networks, and network security. Under wired networks, there's two tabs, internet and LAN. I'm not sure why they didn't call internet just WAN, but maybe in the future they can change that. The first thing I wanna do is change the controller's IP address also known as the gateway. So we need to head down to settings, then to wired networks, and then LAN. And from here, you'll see the LAN interface with the current IP address. And that's the first thing we're gonna change. So head over to the right and click on action. And from here, we can make all our changes to the controller. Let's go ahead and change the name to Omada. Go ahead and leave the purpose as interface. Make sure all the LAN and WAM boxes are checked. Now we're gonna change our IP address to 192.168.100.1 and we'll leave it at a slash 24. Then you wanna hit update DHCP range and now you're gonna notice that our DHCP range is now 192.168.100.1 through 192.168.100.254. Let's go ahead and change that one to an eight. And what this does is gives us seven IP addresses outside the DHCP range that we can now use for static IP address assignment. So now we'll change DNS server to manual and we're gonna use Cloudflare's DNS, which is 1.1.1.3 and 1.0.0.3. This DNS server blocks malware and adult websites, which is great for businesses and homes with small kids or teenagers. Now click on save. Next, we're gonna change the IP address of the controller to a static IP address. And this is our controller's current IP address, which is currently in the DHCP range. So go to configure and type in 192.168.100.2 and hit apply. Now you wanna reboot the controller. Just unplug the ethernet cable for about five seconds, plug it back in, and you're gonna to have to wait for three or four minutes before everything comes back online. Okay, next, let's go ahead and create some VLANs. So click on the LAN tab and click on Create New LAN. Let's go ahead and give it a name. And we're gonna call this VLAN Guest Wi-Fi. 
leave the purpose as interface. Make sure all the LAN and WAM boxes are checked. We're going to type in VLAN 10. And our address is 192.168.10.1 slash 24. Click on Update DHCP Range. And under DHCP Controller, input the IP address of the controller, which is 192.168.100.2. And under DHCP Range, change the 1 to a 2. I almost forgot. Next, go ahead and type in the manual DNS. You can use Cloudflare or whatever you want to use. If you're lucky enough to have a pie hole, go ahead and use that. Now go ahead and hit save. And now we can see our controller and our guest Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and create another VLAN. Let's go ahead and give it a name of PoE Cameras. Leave the purpose as interface. Make sure all the LAN and WAM boxes are checked. And VLAN ID will be 30. And the gateway will be 192.168.30.1 slash 24. Then update the DHCP range. And we'll do the same thing as last time. And we're going to change the start range from dot .1 to dot .2. We'll go ahead and add the DNS server. Once again, we'll go ahead and use Cloudflare but you can use whatever you want. Then we'll go ahead and update the controller's IP address. And then we'll hit save. And we're gonna create another VLAN. And this VLAN will be called IoT Devices. Leave purpose as interface. Check all the LAN and WAN boxes. And our VLAN ID will be 40. The gateway will be 192.168.40.1 slash 24. Once again, update the DHCP range. Change the start range from 1 to 2. Go ahead and fill in the DNS server. And guys, make sure to hit subscribe. It really helps out our channel a lot. And be sure to give a thumbs up and share it. Now add the controller's IP address, 192.168.100.2, and then hit save. Now we can see all of our VLANs. Now let's go ahead and create a new wireless network. So go to wireless network, click on create new wireless network, and we're going to name our new wireless network guest Wi-Fi. And we'll give it a nice complex password. Now go to Advanced Settings, enable VLAN, and enter the VLAN ID 10, which is the guest Wi-Fi VLAN. And we're going to rate limit the upload and download speeds. And I definitely recommend that you do this to your network as well. You don't want your guests sucking up all your bandwidth. Alrighty, now hit apply. And you can see we have two Wi Fi networks Ultimate Tech Hub and Guest Wi Fi Network. Let's go ahead and add one more wireless network for our IoT devices. So we'll call it IoT Devices, give it a strong password, enable VLAN. and type in VLAN ID 40. And no rate limit here. IoT devices take up very little bandwidth. Now hit apply, and we can see all three of our wireless networks. Pretty cool. Now the last thing we're gonna do is create an ACL, Access Control List. So now click on Network Security, click on ACL, then switch ACL, and create new rule. Let's name it IoT Blocking. We want to block all networks from accessing IoT devices, and this is how you do it. So make sure the policy says deny. The source will be network, and then click IoT devices, 
And the destination will be network also and will be OMADA. And remember, OMADA is our secure network. And make sure you're binding all ports. Then hit apply. And congratulations, you now have an ACL. Success. So now let's take a quick look at the other menus. This page enables you to monitor your stats. This is your network map, which shows all your hardware. This one shows all your devices, like routers, switches, and access points. And we're going to do a quick firmware update for both the router and the switch. And this will take a few minutes for both. Don't worry, I'll fast forward it. All right, we updated the firmware for the router and the switch. So we're all good. We created four VLANs, two additional wireless networks, and even an ACL to block access to IoT devices. You've seen quite a few of the menus, and trust me, there's a lot more menus to cover, but I want to keep this video as short as possible. So I only wanted to show you basically what you need to get started with a secure, safe network. Well guys, we're all done here. Hope you enjoyed this comprehensive guide to the tp link Omada network. So guys, remember, like, share, comment, subscribe, and for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.